Well, now, really, when we go back then to falling in love and say it's crazy, falling. We don't say rising into love. There is in it the idea of the fall. Taking this ghastly risk is the condition of there being life. You see, for all, life is an act of faith. The moment you take a step, you do so on an act of faith because you don't know that the floor is not going to give under your feet. The moment you take a journey, what an act of faith. Any kind of undertaking in relationship, what an act of faith. You've given yourself up. This is the most powerful thing that can be done. Surrender, see, and love is an act of surrender to another person. Total abandonment. I give myself to you. That's quite mad, because you see, it's letting things get out of control. All sensible people keep things in control. Watch it, watch it, watch it. Police, security, vigilance, watch it. Guards, watch it. Who's going to watch the guards? <laughs> Actually, what is really sensible is to let go, is to commit oneself, to give oneself up, and that's quite mad. So we come to the strange conclusion that in madness lies sanity. When you fall in love with somebody else and you trust them, they may, as a matter of fact, not fulfill your expectations. There will be disappointments and failures and disasters as a result of taking these risks. It's a gamble. But that risk has to be taken. The alternative to taking that risk is much worse than trusting and being deceived. word meaning self-emptying, self-sacrifice, and thereby conferred freedom of will and the power to love human beings. And people who give the power away are tremendously strong personalities, because the more they have given it up, the more they get it. You know, you, you do this complete let off of control. It's a lovely irresponsible state to be in. I am involves what you are. If I am I because you are you, and you are you because I am I, then I am not I and you are not you. In other words, we are not separate. You know, uh, you can't, for example, have two sticks. You lean two sticks against each other and they stand up because they support each other. Take one away and the other falls. And so in exactly that way, we and our environment and all of us and each other are interdependent systems. We know who we are in terms of other people. We all lock together. And therefore, that what you call the external world is as much you as your own body.